Um, the White House considering more sanctions as well against Russia. The president had promised strong and swift responses if an invasion were to occur. occur. Of course, that has now taken place. Uh, do you think uh, Putin is intimidated? <laughs> Probably not, unfortunately. And I think what most Americans are feeling are, uh, is, is what I'm feeling is absolute frustration with Joe Biden. He wouldn't even take questions from the press yesterday. And he doesn't have a strong presence on the national stage. And for the four years of Donald Trump, like him, or not, we at least knew that America was secure and we had someone who was a champion of the United States that was going to make good decisions, defend us, and be a strong leader. Joe Biden is the exact opposite. And so while the White House may have um, you know, some of these statements and he comes out and mumbles for about eight minutes, that is not going to be <laughs> anything that is remotely effective on the world stage. And so I think what everyone is feeling is why are we, why are we in this situation when we could have had a president that absolutely was putting America first. So that's not Joe Biden. And I think the Democrats are going to suffer for that in 2022.